Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Ram name 951 and I am here to bring you a review on my dog named Pee Wee. <laughs> nah, he's just sleeping, but I just want to show you some cool stuff. So today um we're doing some cleaning and uh and the shed and uh the shed for for us, I guess in my family <laughs> was like basically the the place where you just put everything in and uh, never <laughs> go back to clean it out. Sorry about for the mess in my room. I need to pick up all my crap. But yeah, so um, basically, while I was cleaning out, uh, helping clean out the shed, um, found a couple of cool things. Some really old school toys I had when I was a kid, and uh, just some cool things. So uh, just want to do a little video showing showing you what I found in my shed. So we'll save the best for last because this guy's you know he's freaking huge. But uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So, as a kid, I guess I really liked trucks, and uh, my mom got me, since she worked at Vons, uh, she got me a truck, uh, a little Vons truck, it's pretty cool, um, it's got, it's like die-cast metal or something, and uh, you know, this opens up, and you can put like a little, like, um, Hot Wheels uh, scale cars in there, and they fit in the little, um, trailer pretty nicely it's pretty cool i remember i had one open so i think this one's brand new i don't know, i think she must have bought two or something so it's pretty cool to see this again um bring back some good memories as me as a kid i, I remember loving um this little vons truck oh uh, some other stuff um i have this little transforming robotic figure i remember my dad got for me a uh, I think he got for me at the swap meet for like five or seven bucks. Maybe not that expensive, but basically it was pretty it's pretty badass. The only problem was that um when I try to give it some batteries, of course it wouldn't work. Um it seems like it, it's pretty cool because it has treads, so it seems like it would, you know, go like a tread. Like a like a tank basically, and then it has a uh, little lights and lasers on its claws, which look pretty gnarly. And uh it also transforms, which is pretty cool. So you push down the head and it goes down. So it's really crazy. Uh, never got to see it in action, and I don't know what the name of it is because it's missing the battery compartment. And from what I've seen, trying to look on it, there's no, uh, there's no name or anything on it. There's no like uh, made so by so and so. So I don't know um, what toy it is. If you guys are interested, I just I don't know. Um, let's take a look at these. <sighs> Apparently, I had this OG Jeep RC car. Um, it has a lot of this white stuff, and this white stuff is basically candle wax. I have no idea how it got on here or why it's even on here. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, check it out. Like, look, at this, look at this wheel. It has a whole bunch of candle wax, so I'm thinking about cleaning it off later. But um, the battery operated, which is nice. And uh, it doesn't have the RC controller, which kind of sucks. But. I kept it because it's like it's really it's a really nice detailed Jeep Wrangler. I'm like this looks freaking cool, and it even has like a lot of the stickers still. So uh, it's really nice. The the wire is kind of bent, but you know what? I'm pretty sure if I could look up a YouTube video on how to mod one of these to use them with like a any controller, I'm pretty sure I could change out the antenna or something, and then you know use a different remote. You know, there's probably tutorials on YouTube how to do that. So. That was pretty cool. Um, let's see what else I got. Also found this really cool looking um, vehicle. I remember it being for one of my Power Rangers. It's, uh, it has a really nice detail actually. Pretty cool. Basically a little car. And I guess it transforms or something. And uh, I don't have the missile. But there's a missile that goes inside the hood. And when you press the little button. Like, it shoots out from here. So I'm not sure how well it works, but basically also the cockpit opens so you can put your Power Ranger in there. Pretty roomy. You know, and then his little head sticks out right here. It's actually translucent too a bit. So it's pretty cool. Um, I remember having the Ranger, but I don't, don't know where he went. Probably he went away when I gave away my toys. Um, Probably one of the cooler things was... Uh, this this is a little train set and uh I, I, we only really used it for christmas we brought it out like 
a while back, like when I was really little. And I really liked it, I remembered. And um, it's like an electric locomotive thing. Uh, put the batteries in the little coal cart. Um, this part plugs in to back here. Basically, you just hook on all the carts. And there's some pretty cool carts. You know, this one, kind of okay. But this one's really cool. I, I like the color. And I like how um, the door opens. Or on the other side, at least. I, I like how the door opens. So maybe you could put some MSIAs in there and, like, transport them. Be pretty cool. And uh, which is even better is uh, it comes with, like, over 30 tracks. This is just one of them for an example. Um, I know I have, like, uh, probably all of them. Basically, it goes on here, and then we'll just go on the tracks and, you know, make a really long track. So, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little set. Uh, I think it is missing a couple pieces, though, but uh, nonetheless, it's freaking awesome. I, and I loved it when I was a kid. So, uh, very cool. Um, not sure if the locomotive part works because this part's all loose. It's really loose. Like, it's not... I don't know. I don't remember it being like that. So, uh, hopefully, it still works. Haven't tried it because this thing takes, like... I think it takes like six or four D batteries, which is crazy, which kills, which is just like a lot of power. You can see it takes 1.5 volt, which is the big fat batteries. And I don't know why, but I put like a little pistol that you would get from a 25 cents machine in here, which is actually pretty cool. It has some cool little detail. I guess I just put it in there and left it. So um, I had to, I have to get that running one day and see how that works. But nonetheless, a very awesome thing. Now, I, I saved the best for last for um, good reason. And it's freaking awesome. So, let me just tell you, this, this toy is over, like, easily 20 years old. Because I think I remember my parents getting it for me, like, used. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't that cheap back then. And basically, this is a Megazord from um, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, there's a lot of them. I checked on eBay to see which one it was, and uh, I don't know. So I found one. I think it was called the Thunder Megazord, and the guy was trying to sell it for like ten bucks, like ten bucks shipping as well. And his didn't work, he said. So um, I never, as a kid, I never knew where the battery compartment went because it was so well uh, hidden for me. After realizing right now, it's on the back of the calf of the right leg. So there's a little tab you pop it out. You put four AA batteries, which isn't too bad compared to a locomotive train. So basically, here's your control. You got this, and this is a mic. And um, what happens is you pull the mic down, speak into his mouth, like giving him kisses. <laughs> and uh, there's like a speaker inside the the little figure, and uh, it talks. So let me just show you. Yo, what's up? It's the random name 951 here to bring you another reveal of one of my toys. So it's pretty cool. It actually works pretty good. Um, you just have to make sure your, your mouth is pretty close. Like, if I do it like this, you can't hear it. If I do it like this, you can't hear it. Wait. Here. 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 So you want to put it, like, really close. Now, probably the coolest part to it, now you got to check this out. I did, I forgot I could do that. I remember when my, my parents got it for me, like, I played for it. I played with it for, like, five minutes. <laughs> and it must have drained off the batteries really quick. But I, this is why. Let's check it out. That's some freaking badass sound effects. That's some that's some nasty Gatling gun sound effects. It has like three different noises. My my dog's like, what the hell is that? So I mean, it has some crazy. It has like over five or six sound effects. It's crazy uh, how good the sound effects actually sound. And then this thing lights up. It's kind of kind of basic though. The arms don't really move. I mean, they do move, but they don't move while they they don't mechanically move. You know, while the the figure's moving. Um, these kind of come out a bit, but they don't come out much. They just go up and uh, look cool. Um, so. Articulation wise is very limited, but nonetheless, it's it's very awesome. I like its little sound effects. I'll show you again and He does like a little nuke sound I like, I like the Gatling gun sound. He's like da, 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 da. But yeah, this guy is missing a lot of accessories. I think he's missing like a backpack. He's missing some um weapons which go on his, his hands But nonetheless a very cool figure. I'm, I'm liking it 
And uh, this thing, this guy's been around for a while. And uh, even though he's been around for a while, he has very minimal scratch paint wear. I mean, he does have wear. Like you see right here, this gold paint's trying to start to chip off. Stickers are starting to peel. But overall, like this kind of paint hasn't really chipped off yet, which is nice. And he's a, he still looks pretty good for his age as a figure. So it's very cool. It seems like all the lights are working. I'm not sure if the top head flashes. But nonetheless, it's freaking awesome. And the best part is it, it takes... Well, saying only four, four AA batteries is not... It's still a lot because AA batteries, you know, aren't cheap. And I'm pretty sure this thing goes through AA batteries like it goes through... Like, you know, like a freaking baby goes through diapers, you know, it goes through quick. Because, you know, I, I don't know, that's what I would think. Even if they're alkaline, they probably last you like a good... 10 15 minutes and then you know battery's probably drained out you know if you're using super heavy duty it probably lasts you like a minute or two because um heavy duty batteries aren't really meant for for high drain high draining uh power or whatever <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so probably like one of the favorite f finds in the shed <coughs> very cool uh and i like how the little the little microphones actually like it's not just a microphone it's like a power ranger and to move you just hit the i don't know if you heard that but like he had basically a little bit of charge to to make a little noise which is pretty cool i don't know <laughs> he's possessed but yeah so basically this is your control i'm not sure if he goes back but i know if you hold this he goes forward he might go back but not much i'm not sure and then this is where you hold down on his shoulder to talk in the microphone so this is a very cool little <clears throat> toy very old school and i love it <clears throat> so um uh that was just that little video just a little kind of cool video to show you um be sure to check out my reviews i got uh, i did like a lot of reviews recently i think one was a zaku one a gm custom and uh some other figures but um do uh well uh, excuse me. I, I will be doing. I'll be finishing up the reviews. I was supposed to do my Zaku two review yesterday, but I lagged it. So um, this guy will be next as soon as I get him up. Then GM Sniper, and I also got some more figures, some sneak peeks. Got a, another Zaku two camel variant. We got this bad boy over here. You can see it. And I got one of these guys. And I got another one of these guys. So I will be doing reviews for all of these um, soon. Maybe not today, but soon. But I will be doing the Zaku 2 today. And uh, maybe the GM Sniper. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you want to see some more reviews. And some more random videos like this. I post them off and on. But, you know, just whenever. So everyone, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.